Sudden death has drawn a lot of attention now to heart health as well, and it's believed she did die from a heart attack. A woman who survived a heart attack is sharing her story with Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Susan Raff, and Susan's here now with more. Hi, Susan. Hi, Mark. Lee Pacillo says she wasn't really in much pain this day, and she thought she had indigestion. We are learning Denise may also have had some heartburn, and this can be a sign that something is very wrong. I felt really bad heartburn, but it was worse than anything I had felt before. It was Mother's Day, and Lee Pacilla wasn't feeling well when her husband finally convinced her to go to the hospital. I walked to my bathroom and shut the door and collapsed. Lee had had a heart attack. She was only 44. There was some family history. My father had rheumatic fever. He ate poorly. He smoked. And while Lee has struggled with her weight, she didn't have high cholesterol or high blood pressure. It is very possible to, to not know that you have the early stages of coronary disease. Dr. Lane Duvall at Hartford Hospital says symptoms for men and women can be dramatically different. Men can have severe chest pain. For many women, it can be indigestion and fatigue. There are often symptoms long before a heart attack. Shortness of breath is one of them. Here at Hartford Hospital, patients are given a stress test. They are hooked up to a monitor while they walk on a treadmill. Many patients are also given what's called a nuclear stress test to see how the blood goes through the body. The responsible thing for people to do is to talk to their doctor about their risks of having coronary disease and work on controlling those risks to try to prevent a disease in the future. Lee considers herself very lucky. Had my heart attack been any other day, I would have reacted the exact same way. I would have just gone and lied down, but it was Mother's Day and I didn't want to leave my family. I wanted to be with them. And that's the irony of it, that being with them is what saved my life. Lee tells us she was devastated when she heard about Denise's death. It's important to have those conversations with your doctor. Heart disease is the number one killer for men and women. Mark?